Baltimore City Police are investigating another murder, this time in Fells Point. The victim, a female employee at a popular upscale restaurant. Police say she was found in an apartment in the 700 block of South Bond Street in Fells Point. 11 News I team reporter Barry Sims is live in Fells Point tonight with more on the case. Barry. Stan, it was a worried co worker who flagged down police and asked them to check on a friend, and that's what led to the discovery. Baltimore officers back on South Bond Street in Fells Point, continuing a murder investigation. A concerned co worker who had not heard from the 40 year old victim in several days contacted police Monday night. The officers responded to a senseless act of violence. At about 10 30 p.m., officers were flagged down in the 700 block of South Bond Street. Uh, there was a concerned citizen who wanted to report that she hadn't seen her friend in quite some time. With help from city firefighters, police entered an apartment. The woman was pronounced dead at the scene. Neighbors soon noticed a growing number of police cars. It was tons of police cars and ambulance and everybody was around here. I asked my neighbor what's going on and that's what they told me. They found a girl dead. Very chaotic, so yeah, I didn't know her, um, but it's really sad. It's shocking. Uh, especially for being very close to our house. Um, it's definitely put me on more of an alert. At this point, police are not revealing exactly how the woman died. She sustained uh, trauma to the body. I don't want to get to specifics of the case. According to social media, the victim worked at Pazzo in downtown. A statement from the restaurant described her as a bubbly, vibrant, gracious, and intelligent young woman. We were blessed to have known her for three years. She was called a popular server and beloved team member. The statement concluded, we are incredibly sad and will miss her greatly. Police think they have strong clues in solving this murder. So our detectives are in the very earliest stages of this investigation. But at this point, it doesn't appear to be random. And our detectives are examining some very, very strong leads in this case. As police continue their investigation, they're asking anyone who saw anything suspicious or heard anything suspicious or who may have any information to contact them. Reporting live from Fells Point, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.